What's going on guys? You know I was playing around with this snakeskin texture. I think I finally figured it out. So the last one is a fail. I think I got this one right. I imported another image in my easel. I ran this through my CNC, but this time I used an eighth inch uh, ball nose bit and the texture is a little bit different, uh, but I think it turned out perfect. After I ran it, I then put epoxy in, so a black epoxy with a little bit of pearl, and I think this looks pretty good. I think I nailed it. All I gotta do now is stain it to get the wood to match the black epoxy a little bit better. You can see what this looks like with a little bit of naphtha on it. So what I'm gonna do is something different. I've got these dark gray Angelus suede dies and I'm going to put this in. So this is a little bit different. This is a suede and dye dressing. This is more, it's not a full paint, but it's not a full dye. But what I want to do with this is I want to fill in the pores since Pawani is an open grain wood. I want to fill in the pores and what I'll do is I'll come back with some steel wool, rub it over this and I should get it to look pretty perfect. So this wood is kind of ugly. We'll start on the back. This should dye the wood and also fill in the pores. So it's not a full stain, it's not a full paint, but it should get me where I want to go. I can't remember if I did a video of this stuff for you guys before. I've got a whole box of this stuff. Angelus was kind enough to allow me to play with it and I didn't find a use for it until today. So you can purchase these in the uh, link as well. I appreciate any help you guys can give me. So you can see, I guess it's it's almost like a, a chalk. It is definitely filling in the pores and it's giving this body a nice tint, a gray tint. It's really hard to get a gray tint right. A lot of times guys will just sand back black. I don't really like that. I think Trans Tint had a silver or gray many years ago, but I don't think they make that anymore. Got a lot of stuff, but I prefer using this Angelus. Be curious to see what this looks like when it's dry. All right, so that really did exactly what I wanted it to do. Filled in the pores. You still got a lot of the natural wood texture. It looks better. We'll do the sides. I'm gonna just double check, make sure I'm doing it right. So let's do the front. The epoxy has been dry for about three weeks. So this should look pretty good. And then when I do the steel wool trick, it should pull all the paint or stain, whatever you want to call this, off. And I should, should, be good. And there's a little bit of pearlescent in this epoxy. So we shall see. This is usually why I don't wear a shirt, a long sleeve shirt. It's all right. That looks cool. I could have stained it black. I, I just wanted to try something different. Big D's getting adventurous here in the terrible weather we've had. Wanted to do some different things. So I'll put this on the side.
All right, that's looking actually pretty good. The only spot that for some reason isn't absorbing dye is right there. I'm not sure why, but this looks like it's drying okay. I think with the steel wool, it'll look perfect. I'm actually pretty excited about this one. We'll let it dry for 24 hours, come back. Little Mohawk pre catalyzed sanding sealer again. Since I sanded a lot of the gray out, I'm just going to put on a little bit thicker of a coat. So here's the snake skin body completed. I put two coats of velvet oil on. The back actually turned out really nice. I'm not sure the epoxy and velvet oil are all that compatible in the sense there are some streaks. I did try to rub a little bit of this out with some steel wool, but I can see just a little bit of streaks. I actually may let this dry and take this to the buffer and see if that works. One of the cool things about the epoxy and the powder that I put in here is that it's sort of pulled in a couple different spots so you get like a different texture. I think if I did this again, I would add multiple colors into this. I think that would really just give it a neat effect. I've got a special pick guard I think I'm going to put on this. Not sure what neck I'll do, but I do like this look. It does kind of have a, a nice texture from the velvet oil and the coloring is pretty cool. I probably could have left more color on the top, like the back, but then I wouldn't have been able to see the epoxy. But it's just a neat effect, just a different way to play around with this snakeskin idea that I've had in my head. Others have done it. This was my take on it as well. So just wanted to give you another way of doing this. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next video.